top of the morning to ya. Okay, it's Gina Ruby, day 23. Oh my gosh, I feel like I wanna do this every day for the rest of my life. Um, but you know, we've got eight more days with our 31 days of breast cancer prevention. I always wanna say prevention. We don't need any more awareness. We're fully aware it's a stinking epidemic and we want to stop it. So I'm sharing with you every day some treatments and supplements that I did in my cancer journey to make the horrendous journey as smooth as possible. Um, and every single day I either hear somebody I know or somebody I know who knows somebody who's getting diagnosed with cancer. So we've got to stop it. And, um, oh, a quick FYI. Yeah, I'm wearing pink, but I'm not wearing pink because it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I'm wearing pink because it's always been one of my favorite colors. So I don't wear it, you know, to support the breast cancer commercialized blah, blah, blah. That's for another day. Um, I'm wearing it because I like wearing pink. All right, so tip number 23. Um, it's something that I've done, or I did on my, my uh, journey of cancer, and a lot of people ask me about it. So how to keep your hair when you're on a very heavy chemo that the doctor says in 10 days, you will lose all your hair. And so that's exactly what they told me because I was on AC aka the red devil so i chose to do what's called a cold cap now it shouldn't be called a cold cap it should be called freezes your freaking brain and head and gives you a four hour migraine cap there you go <laughs> yay i guess their marketing wouldn't sell a lot of those i still would do it because again i wanted my hair so i did a cold cap through the company called paxman p-a-x-m-a-n I think they tell you you've got a 50-50 chance of keeping your hair. It's very expensive. It was, for me, it was $2,000. It just depends on how many treatments you have. Thank the Lord, I only did eight uh, chemo treatments. If you do more chemo treatments, it's gonna be way more money than that. Again, I don't think that uh, people should have to pay out of pocket for that, but you know that's a battle I'll pick down the road with the insurance company so that other people can have the option of doing it. So it's called the cold cap. There's many, many companies that do it. Um, UCSD had the machine, so I, that's why I chose Paxman. It's the only reason I chose it is because that's the machine that they had for me to be able to use it. I will say I had my hair for the first three months. So April, May, June, most of July. Uh, unfortunately, I had a bit of a hiccup at the end of June, and which, um, just in a nutshell, because the cap is so excruciatingly painful, um, and I'll post a picture below of what it looks like, it gave me that migraine and nothing would, would cut the migraine. Tylenol didn't, I was allowed to take Tylenol and chemo, but nothing else. And so um, I did get permission from my doctor to take an Aleve, and that even didn't kill the pain. Consequently, however, um, a few days after that, I didn't know it, but I was, bleeding internally. So I did land in the hospital, end of June, for five days, trying to find this internal bleed. I was literally bleeding to death. I couldn't use my arms or my leg. So in case you think, oh, she had such a perfect journey through cancer. I didn't. I did everything in my power to make it as, as flawless and seamless as possible with my normal life. Um, but unfortunately, that internal bleed uh, was very, very serious. And they finally discovered it was like, you know, an upper GI bleed that eventually stopped. Do we think that probably contributed to the Aleve I took? Yes. I think Aleve even says, can cause internal bleeding for all you normal people. And I'm not a normal person. So uh, with that said, after that happened, then I started losing hair on the top of my head and had a mullet. Mm, that was super cool. <laughs> I could wear a baseball cap a lot. And then um, that, didn't want to take it off to show this bald spot. So eventually, exactly a year ago, I cut off the mullet um, because I was getting little sprouts on top. And so they were literally dead short. And this is a year. I think I did one, another video. So this is all exactly one year's worth of growth. Praise the Lord that my hair grew back in thick and curly like it was before chemo. So there you go. There's the um, lowdown on the cold cap. It freezes 
your hair follicles so that when you're getting chemotherapy, um, what the, the whole psych, uh, philosophy behind it is it kills the chemo so that it can't kill your hair. And because chemo goes after fast acting cells and our hair is fast acting cell. It did its job for about three or four months until I had that huge hiccup. Um, and I'll leave the link for Paxman. I think there's one called Penguin, you know, clever. It's freezing. And uh, so you guys can kind of pick and choose what company you'd like to pursue. I don't really have a preference on one, just what the, what the uh, hospital used. So there you go. There's the uh, info on the cold cap to keep your hair if you want to keep your hair. And I can say I never shaved my head. That's like a major victory for me because I just, cancer tries to steal so many things from us. And I never, uh, one, of my, one of my goals was to not shave my head and I didn't shave it. I cut it, cut it super short at, near the end, but never had to shave it. All right, I've got more good stuff for you tomorrow. Um, hashtag choose joy. Look at, joy's hanging out there in the back. Hi, joy. And God bless.